just left our pretty little beautiful Anchorage. Probably the prettiest beach we've ever seen. And we are on our way to Hatchet Bay. Motoring straight into the wind and not moving very fast. Just approaching the entrance of Hatchet Bay. Just a bumpy, bumpy motor straight into the wind, but really super cool scenery right along all these short cliffs here. It's so different from what we're used the rest to. of the Bahamas, yeah. Like someone in one of the books they described it as like scenery out of like Ireland or Scotland or something. And it kinda of was. It's like green, rolly, like hilly, rocky cliffs. It's really cool. Some like caves in the side of the cliffs and stuff. Here it is, a little tiny entrance into Hatchet Bay. Whoa, baby. This is scarier than the great. Harbor Key entrance. How the heck are we gonna get in there? Whoa, look at that pirate ship! officially anchored, the dinghy's in the water, and now we're gonna go explore the Hatchet Bay area. And we gotta go find out what's going on with the pirate ship that's just beached. Do you have anything specific you wanna do? Maybe walk to the beach, check out the ocean, see what that's like. You sure look ready to go. We'll be back for you. Someone said we could dinghy in there, but I don't think we'll fit. Maybe that's not the one they were talking about. Jay, do you see any bats? Woo, hello. Whoa, it goes so far back. Yeah. And that's just one cave. There's tons here. The Hatcha Bay Cave is supposed to be like mile long. Really? Yeah. So one of our main kind of goals as we sail and travel is to find waves and surf and it doesn't happen often but sometimes it lines up really really nice like last year in the Abacos we got some waves. Here on Eleuthera definitely found some swell. A little choppy today but in a couple days it should clean up and we might have some really really fun waves. It's, it's tough to be in the right spot for good waves on a sailboat because you want your boat to be protected from the weather and big swell, but you also want to be by the big swell to surf. So like be it, able to find a way to get there. Yeah, it's tough, yeah, and then to get there. Like even in Block Island, we had the same problem. We had to like, we rented a cab to get to a spot. And especially in the Bahamas, like so much of the Bahamas is just uh, blocked and sheltered by other islands. But now here on Eleuthera, the whole east side of Eleuthera is just facing the Atlantic Ocean. So there's nothing here blocking swell. So it can roll right in 
and uh, now we just need a good break and then a way to get there because Luthra is a, a really long island. It's like 90 miles long north and south. And then hopefully some of the other islands we go to have, have waves as well because we're going to try to stay along these outer islands. Uh, long Island and Cat Island and yeah. So hopefully we can find some waves more often than we have in the past and hopefully here in Eleuther when it cleans up in a couple days uh, we'll be able to surf. Our friend Jeff is a, a huge surfer who's coming in tomorrow so he's definitely going to want to get in the water and uh, try to find some waves as well. So we might even rent a car and, uh, and explore the island a little bit by car. We'll see. Look at this. Uh, So there is a popular surfing spot here in Eleuthera called Surfers Beach and that's up here a little maybe four miles that way and uh, but I think I think there's some other good breaks around here as well so we're gonna have to try to find them. all the time when we're traveling but it really is such another different landscape than the rest of the Bahamas from what we've seen at least we've seen the Abacos and different parts of that are different landscapes and then down to the Exumas and different parts of that and even the Berry Islands are just so different but Eleuthera is different from anything I've ever seen over here and it's rolly rocky cliffs and like green like pasture type landscape up it's wild Look at that moon!